Well, let's now bring you updates from uh, the Kaduna era bombing. We now have this particular story as the National Security Advisor, Noor Ribadu, uh, visited uh, Tudumbiri in Kaduna State to commensurate uh, with uh, the people and to give uh, assessment to a particular situation in that state. The visit is to provide recommendations uh, to President Balatinibu to prevent uh, future uh, tragedies. We have details in this particular report. Emotions continue to run deep in Tudumbiri Kaduna. The community still mourns the loss of 85 individuals killed during an aero bombing incident by the Nigerian army last Sunday. Many others who sustained injuries are currently receiving treatment in various hospitals across the state. Government and military officials have been actively engaging with the affected community and hospitals to express their condolences and support for the victims and their families. But the recent visit by National Security Advisor Nuhu Ribadu, accompanied by Governor Ubasani and Speaker Liman, is to assess the situation on behalf of President Tinubu. It's a tragedy, it's a misfortune, but it has happened. What matters is how do we move forward? What are we going to learn from here? What exactly we need to do? Uh, hopefully, it will not happen again. And I have no doubt in my mind, President Sojibo Lama Tinubu is someone who is always serious whenever he made any statement. And this time around, uh, from what is happening, it will never happen again because it has not happened in the past. This will be the last one, and he's going to be serious about the investigation. And within no time, those capable of this uh, incident will be held accountable. During the visit, Nuri Badu acknowledged the progress made in addressing insecurity in the northwest and northeast regions. He's urging Nigeria to exercise patience with this administration, which he says inherited the dire security situation. Because we take assessment. Every single loss of life is documented, recorded. As a result of the insecurity you are talking about and the banditry and so on, it has gone down considerably, more than 90%. More than 600 people have been released, those who are in captivity for years, as a result of uh, kidnappings. It is happening. And I can assure you, it is going to continue. Most of the things that are ongoing are not things we talk about. It's a matter of time. Nigerians will see the result. But certainly across the country, we are improving. At the burial site, prayers were offered for the souls of the deceased victims. The National Security Advisor reiterated that those indicted at the conclusion of the government's investigation would face appropriate punishments. Lupe Asom, TVC News, Kaduna. Well, quite pathetic uh, there. Well, looking at uh, the aero bombing in uh, Kaduna, and I have with me in the studio my colleague, Kemi Fola Adeyemo. I call her the indefatigable Kemi Fola Adeyemo. Welcome to the program. Hi, Emmanuel. Good to see you. Thank you. It's another Saturday, right? It's another Saturday and very sad and pathetic Absolutely. what's happening in uh, Kaduna, Absolutely. what transpired on Sunday with that aero bombing. What do you make uh, the Nigerian military authorities said they admitted the, the, the particular aero and have apologized uh, to Nigerians and to the, the people, but we saw the figures increasing by the day, about over 80 uh, persons have been killed in this aero bombing. What do you make of this particular development? From the moment we heard about it, it has been, you know, one of great shock. Uh, it has been, you know, something really uh, difficult to digest and, you know, understand how mm. a, a bombing, what should have been an onslaught against um, the insurgents and how, you know, not one, about two or there about how two bombs will come down on um, uh, Muslim worshippers who uh, were undergoing the uh, the regular uh, Mulud, um, you know, celebrations. Uh, so it's it, it is something absolutely horrendous. Like I can't I can't imagine. Mm -hmm. And when we've listened to you know some of the survivors, uh, you know many of them saying they lost 
several relatives, several children from one household. Of course, there is still concern about the, the, the casualty figure mm. that the government is saying about 80. That's, that's coming from NEMA. NEMA is saying about 80. About 80. Uh, Amnesty International giving over 100. Uh, Indeed. And, um, of course, um, the leaders of the mosque in question in Tudumbiri are also saying that they've buried about 120. So um, even if it is one it is still inexcusable and, you know, unjustifiable. And now having to deal with, um, you know, this number, the government and authorities, we've seen them, you know, at relevant places, the vice president, you know, the, the highest um, person that is heading the federal government's um, entourage to visit the, um, the victims in hospital. We've seen the army and other members of the armed forces also paying uh, visits to those in the hospital too. Even during their burial, we saw, um, you know, a good amount of a good mm. number of soldiers and the likes also there to um, you know share in the pain because I can just imagine how they must be feeling right now and um, but it doesn't matter a very very decisive investigation a very incisive probe mm. is um, has and, been and promised. the president is also speaking tough on this particular yes, development yes yes that's the, the authorities have mm. promised you know a very in-depth probe, mm. and we hope that it would not stop at that. That probe will be gotten in no time. If anyone needs to be excused, if anyone needs to be relieved, that should happen. If anyone also needs to be excused to allow for unbiased investigation, that should also happen. Answers are, you know, seriously needed mm. at this time, and you know, there is what happens next. So those who are reeling in in, in this pain and and the loss. What happens to them? Of course, they said they will pay for their Being bills, the medical bills, but beyond mm. medical bills, how they can get to pick the pieces of their lives again is also crucial. And it, it's also behoves on the government to be sure that, um, you know, this doesn't, um, you know, fall or look messy on their faces again. How they will just find a way around it to make up mm -hmm. uh, for, 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 this, um, for this massacre, for this horrendous uh, losses, it's, it is expedient they do so. Well, we did a research on... Um uh, the timeline of error bombing, if I can have that on the screen at the moment. Um, we are between September 2017 uh, to 2023, we had this about over 425 persons, including children and women, were killed in error bombing. Right. Uh, There's a timeline that we also did a research of that. If you can have that particular uh, development on the screen at the moment. And also in 2017, you could recall the, the RAND camp, where, uh, yeah, yeah, the, the Bruno State uh, was basically bombed and killed about 52 uh, people in during about uh, 120. Still in Bruno State, we have the, the Navjet bombed, um, uh, the, the Sakotu village killing 17 people in 2020. Two years after, in uh, Niger State, another Navjet reportedly killed six children in Kurebe village in Shiro local government area as well as uh, in Castina stage where one person died and 13 injured in aero fighter jets. Well, it's a reoccurring decimal, Kemi. We can continue uh, with all this. In 2023, 37 persons, including uh, 27 pastoralists, uh, were killed after a bomb exploded at the boundary between Bainui and Nasrawa. Then the latest, which is the highest so far, about 85 dead and over 66 injured in Tudumbiri, Kajuna State, mm. uh, where the military drone mistakenly or erroneously hits a gathering of villagers who gather to do the annual Molud uh, festival. Well, can we, it's a reoccurring decimal. We can mm. continue on and on. We have the papers also saying uh, this development. But what is the way forward uh, concerning this? Should there be more of military intelligence before you can strike? And um, it also comes down to the question of, okay, if you look at the, the budget you know, that is currently before the lawmakers, uh, we've seen, and mm. you know, understandably so, the government saying that a sizable number of um, the uh, trillion Naira budget for 2024 mm. will be going to defense, uh, to enhance security apparatus in the country. And analysts after analysts have said that had always been the norm year after year. But what has been done? Has the security situation improved? improved. Uh, and so it, it now comes down. And of course, we all know that the, the critical needs of the military, of security infrastructure, is 
um, you know, to boost its, um, its, its mm. uh, warfare. Yeah. And so this is another issue now. So it appears that there was something wrong with the coordinates uh, when the armed forces, you know, chose to go and uh, embark on that, mm. I mean, on, on that assignment, which turned out I mean, to we, be... We just, we just have which to turned go. out to be a We mistake. just have to go. Now, one thing Absolutely. we need to uh, let Nigerians know and the federal government is that... Um, like investigations should be made. Not just on this, but even 